When he's not hauling fountains at his summer job or studying civil engineering at Notre Dame. This one I have been working on on and off for about two months. <laughs> Jack Mowat is a crossword constructor. I do the New York Times puzzles. Um, a lot. I have quite a few puzzle books uh, in, up in my room. The 19-year-old likes to live on the grid. You come up with your theme first. Jack started creating crosswords last year. He pops all his words into the framework first. It's just something that, you know, I and a lot of other people really love doing. And then he makes up the clues. On July 25th, I was, so it was kind of like, oh my God, my name is like <laughs> on page A14 of this nationally, you know, syndicated newspaper. He was co-author of the Thursday puzzle in the Wall Street Journal. Well, first I noticed like, I am here on the same page as Tiger Woods and Katie Ledecky, which was weird. <laughs> His mom was so proud. The day it uh, came out in the paper, she framed it. There were plenty of clues that Jack might have puzzle potential. When he went to college, he's like, Mom, one thing you could do for me is save all the New York Times Sunday crossword puzzles and ship them to me. And that quizzical nature is paying off. The college sophomore has now solo authored a puzzle scheduled to print on a Friday in the New York Times. New York Times, again, you know, it's the gold standard of the okay. American but crossword they puzzle. It. They did accept this, so it is going to be published. Yes, I can guarantee you. His publishing prowess is earning him fame. Yeah, right. <laughs> Back at Mulhall's Garden Center, where he works. Blossom of many uses. I'm making more for art. Oh, dang. And he's making a bit of green, too. Mm -hmm. As a freelance crossword constructor, he's paid $500 for each published puzzle, up to $1,500 for a weekend crossword. That being said, for the amount of time that I spend, you know, put into the puzzle, <laughs> it's probably less than minimum, so. <laughs> the bonus of knowing the puzzle creator is that it's handy when you need help. I got leotard. And if Jack could get just one point across about his publishing procurement, it would be this. It was just like the funniest, coolest experience ever. What a great guy. So we don't know when Jack's puzzle will be in the Times, but it will be on a Friday. And you can find this one, the Wall Street Journal puzzle, online. I put a link there in my story so that you can check it out online. I also sent this to your mother. She likes you know, my she mom. Loved it. She does, yeah. all, and she does even pen. But she said I, it was a good one. I use pencil because I make a lot you of make mistakes. mistakes. Yeah, right. I got to go back. That's so his amazing. His goal: he wants to be published more than a dozen times. He's wow. well on his way. Well, good job, Jack. What a great story. Yeah. Thanks, Julie. <laughs>